today I'm going to be doing a DIY because I have all these bottle lids that I've been saving up for the last year and my youngest is absolutely obsessed with them. He wants to play with them but I don't want to have to constantly be climbing underneath the couch, moving the coffee table to clean them up at the end of every day. So I'm going to turn them into a snake for him. This is how you do it. First things first, you're going to take every single bottle lid and you're going to punch a hole in the middle. I'm going to use a nail and a hammer but you can use whatever you want. If I had a bigger nail this would be easier but I don't so I'm just having to wiggle the nail to make that hole just a tiny bit bigger. I have a little helper today. Which one should I do next? This one. This one? Oh good choice. Good so everything has a hole in it now. Now what I need is some string. So what I've done is I've got my string, I've got a knot on one side and I've got a knot on the other and what I'm going to do is keep adding bottle caps and adding a knot behind them so that it's snake like and it's really easy to turn and they don't just kind of dense up together. Good, so now that's all done and as you can see if I wriggle it, it looks really nice and snake like so I'm happy with that. I've tied a knot at the end just in case for whatever reason the tail end that I'm going to put here comes off. I don't want everything just falling off and then going everywhere so I'm going to put a knot there just for a bit of extra security. Next part I'm going to take two corks, one is going to be the snake's head, one's going to be its tail and I'm just going to drill a hole through it. Actually slight change of plans, I need to charge up my drill so in the meantime what I'm going to do is I'm going to start carving these into shape. So this one I need to have it a nice pointed end for the end of the tail. And then this one I need to turn into the snake's face. So I'm going to curve the end and then sand down the edges. Okay, so it's a little shoddy, but I just need to go over it with some sandpaper and smooth it out and I'm sure it will look slightly better. So round number one on a very rough grit piece of sandpaper. And now I'm going to go onto a slightly finer piece of sandpaper and try and smooth this out. Well, that's good enough. And now for how I've cut the snake's head. So I've curved these two edges and then at the bottom I've cut it at an angle so that once it's all sanded down it should look a little bit more like a snake's head. Well, not perfect, but good enough. I've drilled the hole through, it's not perfect, but again, good enough. I've put the snake's head on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this piece of string back around, tie a knot behind this one and then cut that hoop in half so it looks like a snake's forked tongue. What I'm going to do with the end of this string is cut it off about here and then tuck this part back into the cork. Good. Now that that's done, I just need to cut this string in half. Good, so that's the head, that's the tail done, and now I just need to paint the eyes on it. And he's done. Yes, he looks a little bit derpy, <laughs> but you know what? This is going to keep my little one entertained for ages. Look, it's for you. <gasps> it's a snake. It is a snake. 